Hey guys and welcome to yet another apartment speed build. Um, as the title suggests, today we are doing a colour pop studios. I say that like I don't know, like I didn't make up the title myself. But yeah, that, that's what we're doing. Um, basically I came up with this bed first um, when I wasn't recording and then I was like yep yeah, I'm just want to do the walls and the floors white so I kind of cut out that bit and I cut out the floor pan section because that's boring um, but yeah so I knew I wanted to make this bed uh, but for some reason when it came to suddenly deciding to record like the bed took me like two minutes to create so I was like okay I'm gonna build the rest of the apartment around it uh, for some reason it took me like 10 years to decide what colours I wanted like the headboard and then the what foot board is it called a foot board what's at the end of the bed whatever that is right um it took me five years to work it out and I'm pretty sure that the colour still changes on that wall that wall as well I think I must have had the wall like 30 different colours <laughs> um I don't know what came over me um but um yeah I like it so this apartment is for my 100 baby challenge um and I haven't had any of those up recently that is because I wanted to renovate this apartment first um I thought it's really important to do it first rather than have loads more parts of 100 babies with that old apartment it wasn't awful but it kind of I tried to renovate it too soon so I tried to renovate when we didn't have a lot of money and it was just like mm, snoresville um so, so now that we've got some more see changed again now that we've got some more money uh I think I set out to make this like 65,000 or something like that let me have a look at my piece of paper I wrote it down somewhere um that's how much we had and then of course I did the apartment and you know of course I spent more money <laughs> don't be silly um I, I spent more money than I had um I I've built this not actually in the same save as my hundred babies I built this in my like build save where I do my builds and it ends up coming up to 73,000 simoleons and we only had 66 and a half I think well that's what I worked out we had but when I went into my game I actually worked out that no I didn't have that much so um for my next part of 100 babies I have been on the easel painting like a mad lady and Ashley is like 900 smoleons away from earning enough money to buy this apartment so next part of 100 babies I'm hoping it's gonna be up tomorrow uh, I haven't recorded it as we speak yet um, but I'm hoping to have it up tomorrow I'm going to record quite a few parts in one because I'm busy again this week so I'm going to have to pre-record some stuff. Um, so this week there'll definitely be Drifter and 100 Babies, not just Drifter by itself. Um, so thank the Lord that I had recorded some Drifters, otherwise you would have had no videos all week. Um, so yeah, 100 Babies, we're going to be moving into this apartment. I had to stop playing. I would have earned all the money to move like move her into this apartment straight away well not move her into it replace the old apartment with this one you know uh but unfortunately um she went to labor and I thought and she couldn't finish off the painting she was doing if she finishes the painting she's doing she has enough money to buy this um but I didn't want her to give birth to a baby and it not be on camera <laughs> so I saved the game where it is and we'll just next part of 100 babies coming up tomorrow she'll be having the next baby and we'll also be moving um well not move we won't be moving what am i doing we'll be placing this apartment on top um so you know if she's she's popping out them babies she's got to um have a nice palatial pad there's got to be I feel like you should get child support. I've always thought of that. Do you know what? I might do that. Like 100 babies coming out. 100 babies is not necessarily a challenge, if you get what I mean. The biggest challenge of 100 babies is keeping yourself entertained for 100 babies worth of time. But, you know, having 100 babies is not necessarily that much of a challenge. But, um, so maybe I might introduce a bit more storyline to it. Because I think... If someone decides to have that many babies there has to be a reason behind it 
Like, no one chooses to have that many babies for no reason and not be with their dads. So maybe I have the MC Command Center mod and you can get child support from, um, what's it, parents that aren't in the household of, with their children. So for all of those kids, we could get child support. I think it would only be for when they're living within our house. I'm not too sure. Maybe I might turn that on. Yeah, it'd be interesting. Be like, she'll be rolling in the money just from having babies. I, th I think that's slightly more realistic than having 100 babies just, just for the hell of it. Um, uh, if you haven't watched 100 Babies, our main character is Ashley and she is a vampire at the moment. Um, I'm kind of got mixed feelings about vampires. I think I'm already over it. I think I might be over it already. Um, <laughs> I think I might be curing her soon. I think we've only had... <sighs> I think we've had four babies since she's been a vampire. Um, so I we have triplets in 100 Babies and they're all vampires. And the baby before was also a vampire and she's pregnant and about to give birth again. So... She could possibly have twins. Um, she is pregnant with one baby, but you know that whole on ley line thing? Um, that means that you also roll the dice when they give birth. They could have twins when they give birth. That's another time that they could have magically have twins, even though they're not pregnant with twins. Um, so, yeah, she could do. But I think, I, yeah, I might cure her. And then she can get to use the bed. Uh, in my game, for some reason, I've got this weird um, glitch. My vampires still have sleep needs, which they're not meant to. They're just meant to have vampire energy bar thing. But for some reason, Ashley still has regular human energy bar. And it's really annoying because you don't know when it's going to be low. Uh, you can't see it because it's a human need. and But she still suffers from it. So she still gets the really bad mood look when she's got low energy. She gets exhausted and she gets moody and she can't do anything. So, yeah, we might we might cure her. But we still haven't had Vlad's baby. Uh, maybe we could just cure her and then just go after Vlad anyway. Uh, because I think we're already romantic with Vlad. He's kind of in love with us. I know. We're, we're kind of a big deal. Um, <laughs> so... Maybe we'll cure her, then go with Vlad. Vlad? Vlad? Oh, God, can't speak. Anyway, so um, maybe back to this build. Yes, lots of white. Um, hints of black. Could kind of be considered Scandinavian in a weird way, but not really. I wasn't going for that. It's more... Actually, it's more. Ju it's just modern. Full stop. It's just, it's just modern. Um, so, yeah, I just did the same floors and walls throughout. I will link... Um, some of the CC that I've used down below. I'm thinking of trying to step up my CC listing game. Um, I was going to list everything in this apartment. That was the plan. But then I opened up the... Well, in case you don't know, there's a program called Sims 4 Tray Importer. And basically you can look at the creations you've got and it will list all of the CC that you've used. So I was going to do that and kind of... it. The CC list for this kind of dragged on and went on for ages. So I'm what I'm going to do is try and list the main creators that I've used, which obviously is Peacemaker for the bathrooms, for the kitchen. I think some of the seating is by Peacemaker. So what I'll do is I'll list, I'll link to his, um, what is it, Tumblr? I'll link to his Tumblr and I'll list all of the um, different, sets that I've used in this build but I won't be linking individually to each set because that would take forever and I ain't got time for that so so um but in future hopefully all the room builds that I do will have all the CC links it's a lot easier to link the CC in just a particular room than this this is technically a room in the gallery but it is not a room in real life this is a this is basically a build. Um, so it's not easy to list all of the CC. It's just incredibly hard. Um, but if you haven't already, you should watch my video that lists all the places that I 
normally get most of my CZ from. Um, that will be, I know, I'll put an eye up in the corner, I'll put it in the description uh, box down below as well. And can I just say, I love, I l am living for those toddler beds. Like the colours and the duvet colours are ridiculous. Those will be linked down in the description uh, box down below. I'm thinking maybe of creating a tumbler so that I can list all my CC or something like that. Um, I've got to kind of make a, like a master list of CC so I can just copy and paste each one in for what I've used in a build. Um, I'm trying to do that because I know the easy way would be like here's my cc because train porter you can export the builds with all the cc at a click of a button which is easy but that just goes totally against all of my principles and breaks all of the terms of use of all the creators um of this amazing cc so i know there is a youtuber at the moment that is constantly uploading their cc that they've used for their um builds and it annoys me a lot and I have left them a comment on their videos to say don't upload people's CC and if they continue to I will be sending like a message to all the CC creators uh, that they have uploaded from and letting them know because that is just not okay with me. Um, I know another YouTuber that used to upload their folder they used to even upload their whole entire cc folder for money so if you donated you'd get a link to their cc folder and like if you donated you got a link to their cc folder and they would put the download for all the cc they've used in a build they would put an ad fly link on it so <laughs> they were just really ripping off all the creators <laughs> uh so they got put on blast on tumblr by one of the cc creators and let's just say they don't do that anymore so you know warning if you are doing cc builds do not put the cc up from other people it's other people's hard work just don't do it so i'm definitely going to try and counteract that by making sure that i list cc in the future I was hoping to do it with this, but man, it's going to take forever. There's way too much. I'm going to do it for all my room builds. Um, I'll try for my house builds just to link the main items used, not all the clutter because that would take forever. And you can put your own clutter in, you know, clutter's clutter. But the main items of furniture and stuff like that used, I will try and link. And I'm just going to have to teach myself how to use Tumblr because I have never used Tumblr before. Well, the only thing I use Tumblr for is downloading this glorious CC, but I've never created a post for Tumblr or anything like that. So I'll keep you posted. If I do create a Tumblr for public consumption, I will let you know. Uh, we'll definitely have loads of CC links, stuff like that. And yeah, so this is the toddler bedroom. Woo! And I love those toddler paintings on the wall. They are by I'm gonna I'm gonna try and pronounce it. I think it's pronounced Vikita. No. Vi Eta. Oh, I don't know. I think they're Scandinavian, so I have no I think they're Swedish. I have no idea how it's pronounced. So um I will link those as well, because those are super, super, super cute. Um I think you do need another mesh for those to work, so but that's all included on her download details. And all the walls are also by the same creator because I just wanted to have white walls and then change the colour. And she has made an amazing set called, I think it's called, uh, what's it called? Let's Colour. Yeah, it's called Let's Colour Walls. And there's like, I think there's a ridiculous amount of recolours. I think it's something like four. No, it's not 40. It's got to be more than that. I'm tr I'm trying to um, Google it. But um, I'm not that good at it. Um, I, th I think it's like over 100. No, it's not 100. It can't be. Um, 
let's see if I can find it. I'm 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 on her stuff now. I promise you, I'm on it. Let's go to her her recolors. Woo! Yep, it's so cool. It's got like every color under the sun that you could ever possibly require. Um, so do it. Oh, let's see. Here we found it. Let's color walls by Vi Kita. I'm gonna say it's Vi Kita because it's got two eyes. V I I K I I T A. Who knows what that says? Um, yep, and she's made a hundred walls. Like that is the best piece of CC ever. So I think it's in two packages, but when you open it up in the game, it merges and it's in one. So a hundred different wall colors. If you can't find a color in that, there's something wrong with you. <laughs> so and they're really nice colors as well. So those that's the wall wall wallpaper I've used in this and that will be linked as always I try to use a new kitchen here um yet again that what's her name Vikita Vi Vikai oh I don't know that one Mrs V Miss V we're gonna call her Miss V um recolored a kitchen that was off the sims resource and I tried to use it but no you know, when when you go Peacemaker for kitchens, there's just, there's no going back. Uh, so, of course, Peacemaker, this is the Lennox um, kitchen. And it's just, it's just shit hot, to be quite honest. <laughs> I'm just going to say it. But what I wish they had was like a one and a half depth so we can make our um, kitchen island. Because I always have to merge them together because they just it looks too wide to me being two squares wide um so that's what I do there but you can all you can still use them they are fully usable being merged together and um yeah I totally didn't talk about the kids bedroom so there's three beds in there those are just the city living beds so you're all gonna have those and I just raise them up so you will have a bit of a weird animation where they suddenly just pop through the ceiling to get up to those so I suppose you could use this if this apartment as is if you were doing 100 babies yourself or if you just happen to have a very large family um, in my current household I have a huge family for some reason this woman just keeps on getting pregnant um, I have risky woohoo in my game as standard through mc command center and i have it set to like seven percent that's really really low um and so she had a baby that was conceived from risky woohoo so she's not with that guy anymore then she got together with a single dad so he moved in with his little boy so they had two boys together then risky woohoo struck again and she got pregnant and they had a girl then you know they're engaged and everything they're gonna get married i said yes they're gonna get married they did risky woohoo struck again I was, oh god i don't want her to be pregnant and get married so i had to wait again and guess what she had twins twin boys uh every time they woohooed she seemed to get pregnant um so I think we're is that all was there more no that's it so there's seven of them in the household at the moment which is kind of a mega mega thing and she's there's seven of them and she's only still a young adult she's not even an adult yet uh so there's a long long way to go I normally just play with them until whatever is my favorite child I know you're not meant to have favorites but whatever my favorite child is until they grow up into a young adult that's when I normally stop with the family and then move on. So I don't really normally play with elders. Um, I don't know, they bore me a little bit. Like there's nothing you can do with it. Can you do stuff with elders? Not not exciting, exciting stuff. But um, yeah, so I'm doing like that. I think I'm up to like generation six, I think, uh, by doing that, which is kind of keeping it fresh. I have never gone to six generations before and like it's all in the same save so our family is still there and all that kind of stuff uh, and they visit um 
my sim their dad is pace foreman if you watch um jen x urban sims she has got her city living lex play and pace is in it who is going out with june and i downloaded him like ages ago when she created him put him in my game he is now an elder in my game <laughs> like <laughs> her thing has been going on for so long i'm like man pace is old in my game like he is about to die in my game and in her game, still a young adult. Um, so yeah, man, her let I love her Let's Play though. If you're looking for a good Let's Play to watch, definitely City Living from X Urban Sims. That's such a good one. And drama. I don't think I can't create drama like that. Like I don't, my brain doesn't think doesn't work like that. Um so yeah. That's why I do challenges, because I just can't think. But anyway, oh, screenshots. So I hope you liked this. I hope I didn't ramble on for too long. Um, this, of course, is up on the gallery for download. Do not forget to click the stupid little advanced thing and include custom content because there is loads of it, um, which hopefully the majority of it will be linked down below if I remember. Um, so yeah, I'm really looking forward to recording some more parts of 100 Baby in this build because I've missed 100 Babies. I think it's been about 10 days and hopefully, fingers crossed, more babies to come. So um, thank you so, so much for watching and I hope to see you all next time. Bye guys. Where are you?